Hey everybody, I want to do another video real quick and just comparing the two Garmin devices. On the left, you can see the Garmin InReach Mini. That's the one I currently use almost for almost all of my hikes. The one on the right is the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. My son uses that one. You can sync both of them to cell phones and that's what we do. He has the Explorer Plus on his pack, but he uses his cell phone to sync. We both have our phones synced and we look at the maps on our cell phone using the EarthMate app and then we send messages with our cell phones also. It takes somewhere between a minute and two minutes to send and receive messages, but uh, it's pretty quick and when you're out without cell phone service, it's nice to be able to contact somebody and see where they're at or you know, maybe you say, hey, let's meet up over here or I found a great campsite or a place for a picnic or something like that, whatever. Um, they're both excellent devices. You can see that the Garmin InReach Mini on the left is roughly a third the size of the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus. They both have real similar abilities when you have them synced to the cell phones or a smartphone. You get a weather forecast, you can get maps, and uh, you can find out your elevation and you see your speed with which you're moving. The Garmin InReach Explorer Plus on the right has a standalone ability to see uh, to look at maps and it also has the acceler accelerometer in it and barometer in it so you can get better information on your elevation, the speed at which you're moving and you can also use both of them as a pilot if you wish with other Garmin products. You can sync these with, your, with a phone, you can sync them with your cell phone, they're both great devices. The, the thing I would say that's a little bit of a downfall with the InReach in Mini on the left, if you want the same abilities as the Explore Plus pretty much, you have to sync it with your cell phone. And that's fine because if you're on short hikes, uh, either overnight hikes or maybe you're out for just a day hike, the InReach Mini on the left is perfect because with most cell phones, you're, you won't lose your... Uh, battery power within the day or if you do you can carry a battery back up and, and, and that works fine I've got a real light battery backup uh, that, that provides like three charges on my cell phone so that works fine if if you go out for a longer hike multiple day hikes it's probably better to use the the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus on the right because you have all the abilities as a standalone device it's a little bit harder to text message you have to use you have to arrow around and pick uh, the letters or numbers versus if you have your if you have it synced to your cell phone you can type a message real quick just like you would typically on a cell phone so the garmin inreach explorer on the plus on the right is better for longer trips it has a little better uh, battery life but even the garmin inreach mini on the left will last about 30 days and is plenty of time most of us don't go out for near that long a time if you want to use two minute tracking, it'll use your battery life up faster. I use 10 minute tracking, which is fine for me. The only reason I may go to a two minute tracking in the future is that if I want to get my trail location and use it to put a route down in the future, um, it works better. You can, you, you'll get a more defined route on a map. But for me, having a 10 minute tracking saves on the battery life. It still gives everybody at home, if they're wanting to look at a website and see where you're at, make sure, okay, uh, having a track laid down every 10 minutes is plenty. In fact, that puts a lot of tracks down on a, a longer hike. They're both great products. I love them both. Uh, like I said, I use the InReach Mini um, almost exclusively because I'm doing mostly day hikes. And but I will be buying a Garmin Inreach Explorer Plus for myself for longer hikes that I'm planning on doing the Colorado Trail this summer. I don't know that I'll be able to do the whole thing in one summer, it might be two or three summers. But right now, the Garmin Inreach Explorer Plus on the right is my son's, and he uses it, and but he syncs it to his cell phone. I'll be doing the same thing uh, with the Garmin Inreach Explorer Plus uh, soon. Pretty soon I'm going to actually be buying the Somewhere Global Hotspot and the Bivy Stick. They're both dumb devices unless you sync them with your cell phone. And if you're going to have that, you better have a the ability to charge your phone multiple times when you're out. Because I always lose the charge on my phone within 
a day, day and a half when I'm taking photos, videos, and using it uh, with the maps and to see where I'm at and, and message. So that's the only downside with some of these is if you're going to use your phone, you better have the ability to recharge. If you're going to use the Garmin InReach Mini and the Garmin InReach Explorer Plus as standalone devices, then you'll get 30 days or more um, uh, use out of them without having to recharge them. If you have any experience with any other devices, I'd love to hear about it. Whether you are have the Spot devices or Garmin or any others, send me an email or leave a comment below. I'd love to uh, talk with you about it and get your thoughts on them. Thanks for joining me at hikingemergencybeacon.com.